Hey guys, and welcome to a lighthouse extraction guide for every single extract, including PMCs and scavs. So we are going to start on the very southern part of the map, and we're going to start right down next to the lighthouse itself. As you can see on the compass as well, we are facing directly south. So the first two extracts we're going to hit because they are directly next to us is we're going to continue down the road that basically connects the entirety of a lighthouse together and we're going to run it all the way down to the very end so there are two extracts right here it's kind of like the situation on shoreline with the tunnel extract where the scav and the pmc are directly next to each other so this is southern road as well as coastal south okay so now we are here if you are a pmc and want the southern road it is up there literally just next to the digger and then if you are the scav and you are at the coastal south that one is literally just down here so directly next to each other next extract we're going to be checking out is the side tunnel so we are just a little bit up from the road before so where we started the guide is literally just up there and we are now right next to the tunnel extract just on the right here we still are on the south part of the map and this extract right here is the side tunnel now with the introduction of voip this should hopefully be a bit more easier but this is a scav and pmc co-op extraction just head inside here into the tunnel and just turn to your left you see this little um door open unless you can't even close it come in here just to the right hand side this is the scav and pmc extract again with voip i'm very much hoping that that one is going to be a wee bit more easier now that we've done this one we are literally right next to a scav only extract now this is where um the guy's gun was overheating with the science during the trailer and we're going to be hitting up the hideout under the landing stage now you got all of this production production construction vehicles right here and we're gonna go left just over here like you're heading towards the lighthouse but just a little bit more to the right wonderful bushes keep heading up and over this and we should come up to a, a giant sunken building that should just be ahead of us over this hill wonderful stamina ah there it is heading down to this the extract is actually underneath the building weirdly enough god knows how scavs will actually extract from this bit all you literally need to do is literally just walk underneath here and this is the extract just here again got no idea how scavs actually extract from this point um i mean they are absolute nuts at the moment during this point of the wipe but they most probably got with their god aim some superpower that just makes them dig underground some tunnels i got no idea but anyway next we're gonna head back up to the uh, main road okay so we are just a little bit further up on the map now and we are in between the um the chalet which is that building right there and pikes peak which is that one over in the left just there what we're actually going to be doing is hitting up mountain pass now for this one you do need the rr and the power cord and we are going to head up on the right section just over here this is the um pikes peak hotel okay so we are here as you can see this is pikes peak hotel yep pikes peak hotel so what we're gonna do is actually head just to the right of this garage where there's a load of atvs and again you are going to need a red rebel and a power cord for this extra of course you can't have any body armor because you need to throw your body armor away for those ones just like how it is in reserve go up this little pathway and it is basically directly in front of you just here so now what we're going to do is head over to the path to shoreline now if you guys don't know um shoreline has had a wee little bit of a expansion now um where you can actually kind of see a bit of lighthouse that's basically connected to shoreline 
okay so we're just above the village now there's a village road that leads all the way to the main road over in that direction we did just do a little cut through the mountains to get to this point but we are just above the village if you are coming from the main road there's a load of construction and there's a few houses on the main road and basically what you're going to do is follow that road the entire way up just like so and you're going to get to this point right here just here so all these houses aren't dilapidated there are two villages that are kind of close to each other you don't want to go through the dilapidated ones you want to go through the ones well, i mean they're both abandoned but these are a bit more of a in a better state than the other village we're going to head up in this direction and look for a little football field like so this little one and we're basically going to keep heading to the right what you're going to do is look for a creek which is just in front of us here and you can actually see the swamp in shoreline just opposite us and as you can see the extract is just here okay so we're right next to the scav hideout at the grotto now on the right hand side here is the the uh, water treatment area and that building right there is where the usex like to hang out just down there is the direction that we came from from the construction area now bear in mind there are mines around here so please be careful and obviously watch out for the raiders that like to sit up on top of there thanks to the tarkov and its wonderful weather it looks like it's actually clearing up now which is good we're going to head down to this wonderful rock formation we're going to follow it around to the right hand side hop on over these rocks and watch our stamina disappear again up and over these rocks too follow it around and continue following it around to the right hand side now this is just a small little section again i've got no idea where the scabs go at this extract but they disappear i guess around here just to the left is a little bit of a sandbank and right here is a little cozy area where the scav extract is now what we're going to do is continue following the main road once again and this next section i can hopefully record in a single stint okay so we are finally at the one of the most northern checkpoints in the game i mean um, the northern checkpoint extract in lighthouse so you can tell when you're at the north is when you are heading straight towards the wonderful broken bridge off in the distance on the left hand side here is the water so the shoreline itself and just along here so you know that you're walking in the right direction just to the right over there is the train area now with this one it is a pmc only extract and the extract is literally right next to the scania just in front of us right here that is the extract now the next one we're going to be hitting up is the armored train now this one comes around about 15 minutes and under but at the current point in time it does come a wee bit late which actually means it doesn't leave on time so just be aware that you do want to be a bit careful if that is the case because you don't want to sit on the train and it departs late and you actually die due to being mia which is a wee bit awkward because you don't even get your insurance geared back when you die mia bit weird i know but that's just tarkov things but this is the extract right here this is a scav and a pmc extract as well so again just watch yourself just in case because yeah, you kind of don't want that you kind of don't want to go in my hate so now we're going to keep heading down in this direction the next location we're going to be hitting up is the industrial zone gate now this is a scav only extract there is two rows that is in between the uh, train yard this one right here and the water treatment yard thing you want to make sure you're in the upper one which isn't tarmac i'm pretty sure the other one is tarmac bear in mind as well be careful of this building you can actually get people on the mg gunners at the top there and you do kind of just want to watch yourself as well as just people on the top and the camping these extracts because you know wonderful times camping the good old extracts but the next one we are going to be hitting up like i said is the industrial zone gate which we have actually just passed which is right here so it's next to the yellow car and the blue bus bus van um this is the extract just there and now finally for the road to the military base vehicle extract now this is a five thousand rubles and it can only carry four people just like the other extracts on interchange customs and woods it also increases your scav karma which is of course important so you can get more benefits at endgame 
and hopefully it's here it's literally just behind this pillar right here quite well placed so you don't get actually extract camped and it is here so this is the vehicle right here the vehicle extract so those are all of the extracts for this um lighthouse and we will be releasing the single extracts coming at a later stage i'm pretty sure if we head off in this direction there is going to be snipers that are going to pew pew us yep one of all these little snipers Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Prime.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna say... <laughs> Please turn off your hacks, man. I beg of you. You dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if we can... Oh, you're actually dead! There is someone there, dude!